hey guys some of you may know that i have just moved house my new house no furniture in this room yeah it's a big mess right now nothing's really set up because we're waiting for new furniture and it's just been a long process unpacking but so happy to be in the new house it's so nice so today i thought i would do a hit workout for you guys this one you can do in 15 minutes it will take so it's short and sweet but you have to put 110 percent into it i've been eating like really bad since we moved because i just i don't know it's just been so much easier to have like uber eats every night which has had me feeling like a really lethargic so i thought today would be perfect to just do a quick hit work out to help boost my energy a bit burn off some of that bad food that i've been eating i'll put the written workout in the description if you want to just look at it written down but let's go oh first i'm gonna get my women's best bcaa's what are you eating what are you eating look at that guilty look on your face protein bar you ate some of mum's cake, didn't you? No, I didn't. I ate banana bread. You ate cake. I didn't. Jeez. So today I'm having iced tea peach. This is my favorite BCAAs probably. I think I might have told you guys that already. As always, just two scoops and water. I mean one scoop, one scoop and water. And I'm gonna put ice as well because it is like so hot today. So I need it to be like ice cold. So they're especially good for any high intensity workouts where you might start using your muscle for energy instead of your fat. We just wanna be burning fat so we wanna preserve muscle. I probably told you guys that already. I do not look pretty right now. I'm like super tired. So hopefully this workout like wakes me up a bit. Okay, so it's a 15 minute full body HIIT workout. We're gonna do 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So 30 seconds of doing the exercise and then a 10 second break. And we're gonna do each exercise four times through. So we're gonna do the first exercise four times and then the next one four times, the next one four times. And there is just six exercises. It helps if you set a timer. I'm gonna put a timer on my phone and just keep an eye on it while you're working out. The first exercise we're doing is a jump squat with a kickback. Okay, let's get going. Okay, next, I'm already so out of breath. You gotta remember to push yourself. Next, we're doing mountain climbers. For mountain climbers, you pretty much start in a push-up position. You don't have to have a super straight back. So you start like this, and you go like this with your feet. So it's like you're running. You can either do it just up and down like this, or for an extra burn on your abs, you can do it towards, put your knee towards your opposite elbow. Okay, I'm gonna set my timer. If you need a break during it, just try to make it as quick as possible. Like if you need an extra break, feel free to take an extra break, but just make sure you get back into it as soon as you can. Don't let your body cool down or slow down. Okay, so just three more rounds of those mountain climbers. Okay, so after you've done all four rounds of those mountain climbers, that was really difficult. My arms were hurting so much during that. After you've done those four rounds, we're doing squat burpees next. So this one is like a burpee, but with a squat incorporated into it. You're gonna squat down like this, jump up, and then down into a burpee. And then back up like that. Okay, so. Three more rounds of that, and then we're going to go into skip jumps. In this one, we're pretty much just doing a skipping motion. So it's like, like you'd be skipping, but you're gonna make sure you push really hard 
off the ground like a big jump. Okay, 10 second break and then three more rounds. Make sure you have water in between or your BCAAs. Okay, next this one's for the abs, bicycle crunches. So we're gonna get down on the floor and we're gonna do four rounds of bicycle crunches. Just start down like this and put each elbow to the opposite knee. So, and make sure you hold your tummy tight and squeeze it in the whole time. But also don't forget to breathe. Three more rounds of that. Okay, my abs are definitely sore. But now it's for the last exercise. This next one, we're gonna do a big squat jump forward and then squat steps backwards and then just keep repeating that. We're gonna do a big squat jump forward as far as you can and then one, two, three. And then we're gonna do it again, straight back into the squat jump. Four rounds, let's go. Okay guys, that is done. Let me know if you guys tried and what you think. That is like such a good way to make the most out of a short period of time, but you just have to make sure you put in 100% effort. Okay, I'm gonna go have a protein shake and I'm probably gonna go jump in the pool because I'm hot now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon.